So my husband and I launched a new print-on-demand art shop on Shopify in 2019. And in the summer of 2020, we started selling on Etsy. This new business now makes a combined of over $100,000 in sales per month from both Shopify and Etsy, with more than 50% of those sales coming from Etsy. If you want to know how we did it, stay on to watch this video where I'm going to share with you the three steps to Etsy success. Hi, my name is May Park, and I help makers, artists, and designers make a living from selling their handmade products online. Now, if you've been following my channel for a while, you know that one of my philosophies is to not put all your eggs in one basket, namely the Etsy basket. <laughs> One of my top videos on this channel is why you should get off of Etsy. In a nutshell, I believe that if you want to make a living selling your handmade products online, that you should always start on your own website, which is what we did. And once your own website is established and you're making regular sales with that, then it's a good time to start branching out and diversifying to sell on marketplace sites like Etsy and Amazon, which is also what we did. So I'm not saying never sell on Etsy, but what I am saying is, sell on Etsy after you've already established your own home base on your own site. Etsy is great at bringing you a new stream of income, but it's also not the most reliable. So when Etsy sales are slow, you're not going to feel the pinch because it was never your main or only source of income anyway. So now that I've mentioned that disclaimer, I made this video for you guys who are ready to branch out and diversify into Etsy. Or maybe you're a hobby seller and you don't really care if you make sales or not. <laughs> like your business doesn't need to pay your bills. The first step to Etsy success is understanding the Etsy algorithm and how you can rank high in Etsy search. It's actually quite simple to understand and remember this if you simply put yourself in Etsy's shoes. Etsy only makes money when you've made a sale. Everything they do is based off of that concept. So they will prioritize showing product listings that make Etsy money. So for example, engagement is a large factor in Etsy's decision on how high to rank your Etsy listing. And engagement means when people see your product photo in search results, are people going to click on it? And once they've clicked on it, are people engaged enough and interested in your product enough that they want to click on all of your product photos to get a closer look of your product? Are people clicking on the description tab to read more about your product? Are they adding your item to their cart? All of these are engagement points that Etsy can track. The more engaged customers are with your product listings, that sends signals to Etsy that you have a good product. And Etsy will naturally want to boost your listings more because when you make a sale, then Etsy makes money. Another component to the search algorithm is sales. Just like with engagement, when people buy your products, that sends signals to Etsy that people love your products and it converts into sales well. So if you have a lot of people clicking on your product listings, which means you have engagement, but no one is buying, that's not necessarily a good thing because that sends the signal to Etsy that people aren't interested enough to buy your products and so Etsy will rank your products lower in search. So let's translate all of that into practical action steps. You need both engagement and sales conversions to rank highly in Etsy search. That means you need to make sure that you have a good product that people actually want to buy, have good photos, product descriptions, and an accessible price point. These are the foundations of any business regardless of where you sell. For example, it behooves you to have more product photos than less, right? To give people something to engage with. And from a sales perspective, you also want to give people a good idea of what they're going to get, right? So show good photos of your products from all angles, have photos of your products on models if it makes sense, and even have photos of your product packaging. You don't want to give your customers any reason to doubt or question your products because once they do, they're not going to buy. And for your product descriptions, take the time to talk about the features and the benefits. So you'll need to address the measurements of the product, the size, the materials you use to make it, color, weight, anything you can say to describe the product. And then you also want to talk about how your product is awesome and what it can do for the customer. Oftentimes, this will come in the form of how your products make people feel. Will it make them smile? Will your product alleviate stress or help someone stay more organized? Really come from a place of emotions and you will do well here. 
I have another video that talks about how to write product descriptions that you can check out here if you need more help on that. And if you're like me and you just struggle writing product descriptions, check out Fiverr for hiring freelancers to help you write them for very affordable prices. Now, when it comes to sales, I hate to say it, but on a site like Etsy or any marketplace site, your price is what will help tremendously here. The more affordable your product is, the more appealing it is to the customer. I know it's not sustainable though to charge low prices forever, but I do think that in the beginning when you're just starting out on Etsy, that it is advantageous to start with a lower price point first. And once you get momentum and you're getting more consistent sales on Etsy, then you can start increasing your prices to really what they should be. The second step to Etsy success, which ties into understanding the Etsy algorithm, is having a standout primary photo. This ties back to what I just talked about with having engaging product listings. But this is so important that I want this to be a whole standalone step, especially because this is something a lot of people don't do. How you get found on Etsy is based on keywords that you put onto your product listing, right? Now, I'm not going to talk about how to do keyword research here because there are a gazillion other videos on YouTube on how to do that. But let's assume that you are starting to show up for the keywords that you are targeting. But maybe you're not on the first page yet, which is everyone's goal to get onto the first page, right? An easy hack for quickly boosting your Etsy search rankings is by designing your primary photo in such a way that it is the first thing people want to look at when they're presented with a search page filled with products. So here's an exercise you can do. Open a new incognito browser, and it should be incognito so that Etsy isn't showing you biased search results based on your previous activity on Etsy. Then in the search bar, type in your keywords that you are targeting and then press enter. Now you're going to be presented by about 65 product listings. And I want you don't like look away real quick and then look at the listings again and then squint your eyes and ask yourself which photo stands out to you. It's usually going to be the product photo that has colors in it that the other product listings don't have. So think about how you can incorporate some of those more rare colors into your primary image. And it's not necessarily in the photo shoot of the product itself. Like I'm not telling you, you have to use a different colored background because that would be a lot of effort, but you can apply graphic design into the primary image using something like Canva or Photoshop to help it stand out. This will help you stand out from the competition, grab attention and get people clicking on your products, which is all good for the Etsy algorithm because now your product listings are engaging. This can be such a small thing that you add to your listings that can make a big difference. And you can do this in like less than 10 minutes. The third step to Etsy success is take advantage of Etsy ads. Now, if your Etsy listings have a strong foundation already, which is everything we just talked about, like with product photos, product descriptions and prices, then you might be ready to take on Etsy ads. Now, the reason I say this is because it takes time for you to do well with Etsy organically for free but Etsy ads can really help fast track your success. For example, you might want to rank for a certain keyword, right? But maybe you're only showing up on page 20 of search results. How are people ever going to find you and engage with your product listing if you're on page 20 and you know most people aren't going to get past the first few pages? Well, one answer to that is you can drive your own traffic to your Etsy listings and when people buy them, you are getting that signal boost to Etsy that you have sales conversions and then Etsy will start ranking you higher. However, I don't recommend this because any traffic you are bringing yourself should be brought to your own website and not to Etsy. And if you want to know why, go watch my Etsy video right here. Instead, what I want you to do is start using Etsy ads to get your listings showing up higher in search for your targeted keywords. And when you've done step one and step two, then it's so much easier for those sales to happen, right? What we found is the more sales we were getting, even if they were from Etsy ads, we also started doing better organically. Etsy ads have been insanely profitable for us, but even if they aren't super profitable for you, I still think you should consider doing them if only to accelerate your organic sales initially. It has been a very effective way at growing our Etsy shop to 1500 sales from scratch in just a few months as of this recording. If you found this video helpful, don't forget this was totally free for you to watch. So give it a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel for more handmade business tips and leave a comment if you have your own Etsy tips to share with us and our community. Then stay on to watch this next video on the screen.